All right, guys, here we go. Lamborghini Cup Race 8 and 9. Introduced an update 1.56. The last of the Lamborghini Cup races. We are here at Circuit de la Sars. Two laps, no tire wear, no fuel wear. Again. <laughs> uh, sports softs, uh, stock settings. Let's go. I really wanted to use the GT3 car, but guess not. <laughs> Yeah, those are professional musicians singing a song about, yeah. They look so good, but at the same time, I'm, I, like, some of them gotta be South Park fans. Like, they're, they're young enough. They're at that age where they look like they might have grown up in South Park, you know? I'm sure some of them enjoyed it. Some of them did probably cringe. <laughs> the money must have been good, though. <laughs> Or who knows? It's musicians. They get paid down to freaking. Oh, here, here you go. Here's a. It's twenty dollars for an hour, and yeah, you gotta practice this for like fifteen hours. But don't worry, you don't get paid for that. <laughs> I, th I thought they did everything for uh, for clout, you know, like experience <laughs> oh you stupid <laughs> they do actively try to get canceled but they just they just don't for some reason the heck this only has five gears why well I'm not making this turn Yeah, that's right, I did that. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Come on, make room for me. Bumper cars, right? All right, nine point five seconds behind. This one uh, doesn't seem like it's gonna be that easy. I have not been able to break at any of these turns. Like, I'm gonna freaking go off in one of the corners when I'm by myself. Right when we tried the TBR interior, that was disgustingly bad. This car is not bad. Yeah, this view. Barrow, the, the 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 cockpit view of the of the TVR is just so horribly bad. Like it, it looks super low res, but aside from that, it looks like the, the the windshield is just dirty. It looks like you're in a sandstorm. It's really bad. For the daily race A. Dude, imagine. Okay, see, I'm not. I'm trying not to go into like rumors and to, and to uh, freaking wish list kind of thing. But imagine they show off some some uh, GT7 and VR stuff. Would that be nice.
You know what makes me real sad though? I posted it on Discord if you guys saw, but Dying Light 2, uh, they just Digital Foundry just did a review on it. This is the second game, and I'm sure there's more. This is the second game that I that has to go down to 1080p to hit 60 FPS on the PS5 and Series X. What the hell's up with that? Like, I understand 4K60 native is not going to be possible in every game. But going down to 1080p for 60 FPS seems kind of, like, weird. I'm not going to make it again. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> Y'all can sue me. Um, I, 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 I hate to say it. Because I know that there's a lot of AMD fanboys. <laughs> but I just feel like that. That for 4K60. They should have gone with NVIDIA. Like if they were targeting 60 at 4K. But yeah, anyways, it's just, it's just. I don't know. Max, how's it going, Max? Are you hyped for GT7? Are you getting it on PS5 or are you? I know you've been trying to get a PS5. But, like, are you going to get it for PS4? Oh, you got a PS5? What? Let's go, Max. You didn't tell me that. When'd you get it? How'd you get it? Hopefully you got it from MSRP. If not, then, you know, at one point, it's got to be, like, you can afford it. And if it brings happiness, if it brings joy. <laughs> oh my god, okay. I need to bring joy to myself by beating this guy. I do not want to lose. And these running IGPU. Uh, you do have a point, Vero. It's a decent IGPU, and the... The last integrated GPU that NVIDIA made was the freaky Nintendo Switch one, so <laughs> I can understand Sony's and Microsoft's concern. And I'm going to have to redo this. Do this. I think we're gonna have to make a huge cut, but hopefully not get bounced back. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but we got it. <laughs> I use this headset both, t so this headset has two connections basically. It has optical in, which I use for, for, um, it has optical in, and I use an HDMI output audio, an HDMI audio extractor to extract the output from the Elgato HD60 Pro 
into my headset. So no matter what I'm playing, I'll always have audio, game audio, through my headset. Um, but it also has a USB cable, which I use for the microphone. If I were to use a standard headset, I would need to connect that to, like, I, I, I would need to connect it to controller, I guess, or to every console that I play, or create an auto output export from my PC. <laughs> but I don't, really don't want to do that, because that creates latency, the quality isn't the best. That's mainly my, my biggest issue. I do have another headphones. I should try it one of these days, but... And it's it's a bit problematic. Like here, I can if I wanted to, and I, I do it as well, often. Uh, I have Discord on my PC and the game audio coming through the same headset. And then I can mix between the two, just right here, just through my headset. This guy is crazy! This guy needs to be stopped! Jason, how's it going? I'm over here struggling at Nürburgring. I'm not even paying attention, I'm just kind of talking a lot. <laughs> Look at those trees, man. You think they'll, they'll have a HD trees in GT7? Benalla. I think I have enough time. 20 seconds. You guys think I have enough time to catch them? Apart. Oh no. When did that happen, Jason? Was that today? <laughs> that is not good. All right, let's push. Let's push. This is a Lewis Hamilton challenge right here. Lewis Hamilton challenge vibes. One lap magic vibes. Let's go. Oh, you know, you know, Jason. As soon as uh, this state of play comes out, GT Sport will be uh, will start having more and more <laughs> connection issues. So don't, uh, don't you worry. It's all part of the master plan. They did that to GT6. They'll do that to GT Sport. All right, we're at eight, 14 seconds behind. We're about halfway through the track. How am I gonna get through here? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Y'all having fun going side by side? Get out of the way. Well, no, like I said, it's just uh, JT this Sunday for Nexus GT. Oh, what is that? Are you guys doing a G uh, league race together? What is Nexus GT? Alright, 9.1 9 .1 seconds, 9 seconds. Dude, they really break at every corner. But it's another league he's hosting. What? How come I didn't know? Maybe I'm not invited. <laughs> I'm probably not invited. I'm too slow. <laughs> ah! Yeah, that's probably it. 
I mean, middle of the pack league was turned like it was it was fine, and then and then a whole bunch of aliens joined. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that I was kind of just a backmarker. <laughs> GTSB. Like it, it really needs a rebrand because y'all are not middle of the pack anymore. <laughs> What's up, Cloud? Glad you're feeling better, Cloud. GTSV. Don't look at the chat for uh, <laughs> the state of play. Just don't. And I ruined it. Come on, come on, come on. MOP is more like OP. <laughs> OP Racing, there we go. I fixed it for y'all. Tell JT I fixed it. Can I beat this? It's probably going to have an advantage that's a straight. But what it doesn't know is that I'm, I'm ready to cut the track. <laughs> if I have to. What's up, bruh? It's bad. Like I said, though, I'm ready to... I'm ready to push him off track. This North Life or GP track? Do I turn right or just go? <laughs> okay, yeah, I do right, turn right. Oh my god, I went a bit wider. It ain't dirty if you don't get a penalty. We've been through that. <laughs> just kidding. You got yourself a beer. Congratulations, GTSV. <laughs> 